behind me here is my little Massey Ferguson tractor and that trailer back there is a hay dolly. So the last video I made, I was using this hay dolly to move my hay and this winch right here gave out on me. Today my plan is to put the new winch on. I've got the old winch there and I've got the one that just went out. I'm going to talk about those winches and then kind of talk about how this hay dolly works and why I use it. So this little tractor right here is a 20 horsepower Massey Ferguson and the front end of it is just too light. When I hook my hay spear to the back and I try to lift up that bell of hay, the front tires come up off the ground. The front of that tractor is not heavy enough to pick up a bell of hay. I feel like it's strong enough, it's just not heavy enough. Now this tractor has this thing called the glow plug in it. It's something that heats the engine. A lot of tractors, I've got an older tractor and when it's cold, it doesn't want to start. I like using this little tractor here because in cold weather, it'll heat that engine up and it'll always start no matter how cold it is. So pretty much all winter, I use that hay dolly back there to feed hay. I probably feed anywhere from two to three bales per week. Show you how this thing works. Right here, there's this pin. And when you got a bell of hay on, that's what holds it. It's kind of like a, uh, a safety mechanism. I don't have the winch tightened up right now, but you take that pin, pin out. You take that pin out, and this thing pivots. After you've got it let down, it's got two forks. And then you back up and you run those forks under the bell. So after you've backed up to the bell of hay, you crank this winch right here, and it's pulling this cable tighter. So the cable runs from here. It runs all the way up through this pulley, but then it actually comes down and back to the trailer. Running through that pulley gives you a little bit of a mechanical advantage. It still gets pretty tough to crank that winch, but that mechanical advantage does help. Having this bar coming up higher helps as well. It works as a lever. Um, so as this cable tightens, it pulls the forks up and it comes all the way down. And as that cable tightens, it'll come down and that rod will go in that little hole like that. So if you've got a heavy bell of hay on there, then you're gonna put this pin in and it's gonna lock that bell in place. Now the bell is lifted up off the ground and then you can drive off and carry it wherever you need to. Of course, when you get ready to feed the bell, all you gotta do is take that pin out um, and then let the bell down and just drive off. I've had this hay trailer probably about three years I bought it, it was for sale on the side of the road. I think I paid $800 for it. This right here is the original winch that was on there. Its capacity is 1,200 pounds. As I was using this winch, I, didn't, I don't think I ever greased these gears. There's a bigger gear here and there's a smaller gear here. And as I used it, I could just see little flakes of metal coming off. If I had a put some grease around that it probably would have lasted longer but it eventually you can probably see grooves wore in there it, would, it eventually wore down to where it would just kind of skip gears and then it wouldn't lift anymore and actually this handle right here is missing I lost the handle to this winch right here the nut came off and it got lost out in the field and I never could find it so I robbed the handle off of this one and put on right here and it just so happened that it fit and it worked. This winch right here, a Maryland Power Pool Corporation. I bought it from Walmart, rated for 1,500 pounds. I think it had like a five year warranty, but I don't know if I have my receipt. I'm not gonna try to get a new one or anything, but this thing, it didn't even last a full year, I don't think. 
and made in China. Right in here is a smaller gear. As you turn this handle, that gear turns, and of course it turns this bigger gear right here. But you can see it's just kind of skipping gears and stripped out. And I think, let me show you what I think the problem is. It looks like to me those little gears in there on the smaller one, you can see that one is just kind of bent backwards. Those gears, they just, they bent. I don't know what would cause them to bend like that. But yeah, that one is kind of wore completely down. Looks like it's bent backwards on the end. So when it hits those gears, it just slips and it won't go up. Here's the new winch I bought. It's um, it traded for 1,200 pounds. That's what the old one was. It is a different brand. This one's got a three year warranty. I don't know if that means anything if I'm not gonna call and try to um, get it replaced. This one is also made in China. I bought this one and that one from Walmart. So I guess if this one doesn't work well, I may go to like a chicken, chicken house supply place or somewhere like that and see if I can get a better product. One other thing that I think a hay dolly could be useful for, if you do have a bigger tractor and you don't need one, if your big tractor breaks down, you can hook that up to your truck and you'd be able to feed cows using your truck with that. So now I'm gonna replace this winch right here. I'm gonna put this one back on. The first thing I'm gonna do is take the cable off of here. I've got gloves on because it's got filaments in there that tend to stab you in the hand. This one has a strap. I'm gonna take that strap off of this one, put that cable on the new winch. Cable is hung up right in there. So what I'm fixing to do is the first thing you do when something's not work is you go get yourself a hammer. Got it. The way that cable is bent, that may have happened before. Got the old cable off. Now it's got two bolts, one there and one there. I'm just gonna take those bolts off and hopefully the holes on that winch will match up and I can just put the new one on. I hope it matches up. I'm trying to make it a little easier here. Got the old one off. Let's take this one out of there and see what it looks like. And I've got a problem here. That bolt's too big. Won't fit through either hole. It had two different size bolts and the front one actually fits. I think, I don't know if I'll have another bolt that size or not. Thinking about just getting a drill and making that hole a little bit bigger. See if I got a drill bit the right size. I believe I believe that one will work. That's the one we're gonna try. Seven sixteenths. With all that metal flying up, I think I'm gonna put on some safety glasses. 
These glasses are pretty dirty, but they'll work. All right, it works. Didn't take much. It's not wanting to go now. Oh, I drilled out the wrong hole. That's the one I need to drill out. Should work. Yep, that is going to match up perfectly. With that nut, I can't figure out what size it is. I've got a 17 millimeter wrench. It'll barely fit on there. But I think it'll hold for me to get it tight enough anyways. Now I'm going to take the strap off. There's a little bar going across holding that on. I guess I'll go ahead and put the handle on. It looks like maybe it goes like that. Try to get it pretty tight, so hopefully I won't lose it this time. Getting this cable to stick on there might be a tricky thing too. The other one had a little bit bigger hole on the side and I was able to run the cable through that hole, but this one is not built like that. Having trouble to get this, getting this frayed wire to go through that hole right there. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to get my welder. I'm not going to show it on camera because I don't know what the flash will do to the lens, but I'm going to burn this cable in two and I'm going to see if it'll um, melt together like a plastic rope would if you were trying to melt it with a cigarette lighter. See if I can just fuse all those filaments together and see if I can fit it through these holes easier. Maybe it'll even fit. I doubt it'd fit through that little hole, but I can sure try it. I got this little 110 welder from Harbor Freight. That's what I'm going to use. I got the cable wrapped up in this old winch just to hold it in place. And I'm going to try to burn the wire in two right there. So I just burned the cable in two. And I don't know how long it'll hold, but the filaments as of right now are closer together. So it should be easier to work in that little hole. With that end melted together, it fit through that little hole just fine. No problems. I did fail to put the glove on my hand. Like I say, that cable will cut you. I am going to reconfigure that. I've got the tag end sticking out. I'm going to stick the tag end through here and have it closer to the winch. That way, as you roll the wire on, it'll hold that in. Now, as I turn that Turn that winch, this cable as it rolls on, should hold that down. We got one more step. Go ahead and put some grease on that those gears so it should last longer if I do that. Should be ready. I've got two more bales of hay to move. Go so see how it works. So I've got the tractor backed up to the hay bale, or the trailer backed up to it. I'm gonna let this pin now loosen the winch, and then tilt this.
up and down and just kind of slam that against the ground and make sure it gets under, uh, you want it against the ground so it'll go under the bale, not into the bale. So now you've got a spike on that side and a spike on that side. As I crank that handle, it's just going to pick that bale up and set it over against that bar right there. Now that the bell is up, I go ahead and put that pin in place. I go ahead and loosen that. That way, um, that way I don't have pressure on that winch while I'm hauling it with that hay bouncing. Show you what it looks like from the side over here. That bell is just lifted right up, and there are the spikes holding it up. Making sure that thing is loose. Take this pin out. Well, I have to crank it up a little bit before I can get the pin out. I've got all the hay moved now. I've got 16 bales total. It's hard work moving that many bales with that hay dolly, but it is doable. I tell you, I'd hate to, I'd hate to move any more, I think. I appreciate y'all watching. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe.